Hi and everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So yesterday it seems that Microsoft stock on the news of its layoffs somewhat scuttled the broader market. Um, their announcement was a telling sign by one of the biggest companies in the world and in the tech space uh, that during this climate where inflation seems to be pushing us closer to a recession, that we may very well be on that path towards a recession. Uh, people thought Musk was crazy for looking into hiring freezes and layoffs in early 2022. But with the latest layoffs from Alphabet, Salesforce, and now Microsoft, perhaps he was really onto something. Anyway, I think Wednesday's MSFT sell-off may be presenting a bit of a short-term trading window. As you can see on this hourly chart, the stock price has swung to the lower extreme of the Bollinger Bands, and the RSI is giving a heavily oversold reading. So the fact that the stock traded sideways once it got down to the $235 level gives the idea that we have found some lower support, at least for now. While the MACD is presenting a bearish reading, um, if we see a correction to a more normal level in the RSI, I think this could coincide with a bit of a, a swing up in the price and therefore switch the uh, bearish reading on the MACD to a more bullish one. How high can this run? Well, I think we could see a bit of a trend up at least to the moving average mark, so the $238 per share mark. And if it is backed up by some good momentum, uh, you know, either a, some positive news from the company or broader market sentiment, we could see a $240 level hit as well, as these appear to be the two points of recent upward resistance. So I think currently, if you are looking for a short-term trade on the Microsoft stock, uh, the entry point of around $235 is potentially going to be a good one for Thursday. Um, it is worth remembering, however, that Microsoft is currently trading around the higher range it has been in year-to-date terms. That's only been a few weeks. So I think what dictates the move on Thursday will be more so general market sentiment. So why am I bullish on a bit of a turnaround following the 5% drop in the stock price, which is about the same as the number of layoffs that Microsoft is engaging? Well, anyway, I actually don't think the announcement made was all that bad. Uh, it was the stuff of a company reading for tougher economic times as well as looking to invest in the long term. Uh, without reading the entirety of the announcement, Microsoft announced it will be cutting 10,000 jobs and making a $1.2 billion charge as the company's cloud computing customers are cutting their spending and the company prepares for a potential recession. The layoffs, which are affecting less than 5% of the workforce, will be finished by the end of March. So it's going to be a pretty quick turnaround with notifications beginning as early as next week, I think. Uh, the cuts are larger than the cuts made by Microsoft about a year ago and come at a time when the company is set to increase spending in generative artificial intelligence, which is seen as the new bright spot in the tech industry. The CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, said that the company will continue to hire in strategic areas with artificial intelligence being one of those areas. So it's obviously a key focus for the company going forward. Uh, Microsoft is obviously increasing investment in AI because it sees it as a bright spot in the industry. AI is considered a strategic area for the company as it can transform its products and touch people around the globe. AI can be used to improve various products and services such as natural language processing, computer vision, and predictive analytics. Additionally, Microsoft has also looked at adding to its $1 billion stake in OpenAI, the startup behind the recent Silicon Valley chatbot sensation known as ChatGPT, uh, which it plans to market through its cloud service. So all in all, while there is going to be personal hardship behind those who are being laid off, this is the moves of a company being mature and preparing for a more challenging economic period. So it's a bit of a vote of confidence in many regards, I think. So overall, I think we could be seeing a good short-term trading opportunity emerge at the moment in terms of holding MSFT stock for the longer term. I'm not opposed to such a move, though I would have to take a deeper dive into the state of their books uh, before making that decision on what to do with that. But, you know, it's a solid company. It's been around for a long time. They've got a great reputation, and I believe they do pay a regular dividend. So even if it's one that you get caught holding for a little while, it's not the worst stock to hold in your portfolio. It is very much a blue chip stock. Uh, anyway, what do you all think um, with all that's going on? Is the 5% sell a temporary one, or do you foresee further falling in the stock price to come from here? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Till next time, everyone, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers.